Comedy group Best Church of God pokes fun at the treatment of women in the Bible. Good job, Good job. A woman should always be subservient to her husband and believe in Jesus. <laughs> Sunday's mock service to mark Women's History Month took some of the ladies in the old texts and fit them into new scripts. There are verses about women not speaking uh, in church. There are, women, there are verses about uh, women not taking on the appearance of men. Uh, there are uh, verses about uh, women belonging to their husbands. Well, nothing is really yours because you belong to us. Satirically, it, it's fun to take a look at that because we know that that's not right. <laughs> you should be able to poke holes at anything which is um, a part of the status quo. To get ready for their sermons, the writers did some field study. We, we as part of research, have been to a lot of these contemporary Christian churches which have segments. They have a sermon, but they also have segments that look, look and feel a lot like sketches. Newcomers should have a stomach for satire. Praise Jesus. Praise Jesus. You will see uh, people be so outrageously insulted, they'll walk out. And then you'll see people uh, who crack up laughing and really appreciate it. I actually come from a fairly conservative evangelical background. I found I completely identified with it. It was just hilarious and I actually felt like it was kind of like real church for me. Uh, the commentary that they were pointing out is, um, is, is very true with what goes on in a lot of churches in terms of like the judgmentalism and anti-homosexuality. God hates gay. And um, the way that, um, you know, they, um, view women. <laughs> From the Lakeshore Theater, this is Cat Q.